Hi and welcome back. The game is Test of Arms. The scenario is number 6, A Test of Arms. 11 June 1982. On the evening of 9 June 1982, a reserve unit of M60 Patton's attached to the Israeli Bakov Forces Group under Lieutenant Colonel Ira Efrani blundered into a Syrian ambush. The Syrian 1st Commando Battalion, supported by the 58th Mechanized Brigade, had set up an ambush position at Sultan Yaqub in eastern Lebanon's Bakaw Valley. The Israeli tanks took heavy losses in the fight, but eventually the Syrians were routed, and the Israeli 7th Armored Brigade, 1st Armored Division, and also part of the Bakaw Forces Group, was emplaced in the position. On the morning of 11 June, the Syrian 3rd Armored Division, 82nd Armored Brigade, passed the ambush position, not realizing that the Israelis had occupied it. What followed was the first clash of Israeli Merkavas, or Merkavas against the invincible T-72s. Objective. The Israelis seek to disrupt the advance of the Syrian 82nd Tank Brigade. Initial conditions. The Israeli player is the attacker and has the initiative. The Syrian player sets up first. Scenario length is 8 turns. The defender is Syria. Unaware that Sultan Yaqub has fallen to Israel, Syria's tanks are easily ambushed. Syria's forces, two tank companies, each with 10 T-72 tanks, one of which is a company commander. Syrian fire support is none. Syrian morale, hesitation point is 12, break point is 20. Attacker Israel. The Israelis eagerly await the test of Merkavas versus the T-72s. The Israeli forces is one tank company of 10 Merkava tanks, three of which are platoon leaders and one of which is a company commander. Israeli fire support, one battery of medium artillery with 20 high explosive salvos. Winning. The Israeli player wins if he drives the Syrian forces to its break point before the end of the scenario. The Syrian may exit the board on the northern edge only. This is the initial setup for the Israeli and the Syrian player. The Syrian player has to start with all of his units on a road, and the Israeli player has to start at least six hexes or more away from a Syrian unit. The Israeli forces are in green, the Syrian units are in brown. The numbers on the counters. Um, are as follows. The 10 is the unit's range, the 8 is the unit's gun factor, the 7 is the unit's defense, and the 6 is the unit's movement point allowance. This game uses a combat system very much like Panzer Blitz uh, where you take the attack factor and divide it by the defense factor and you come up with an odds uh, ratio an odds ratio and you roll a die on a table and the, the results are either destroyed or pinned or damaged troop units which there are not there are none in this scenario can be pinned a double pin is an elimination vehicle units can be damaged a double damaged is an elimination My plan or goal is the Israeli player moves first, and I position their forces in kind of a semi ring around the road which the Syrians initially start on. Once the uh, Syrian player begins his turn, he can leave the road and deploy as he wishes uh, or maneuver as he wishes. The thing is he has to like uh, like I mentioned he has to move his forces off the north edge of the map which is in that direction so with that we will begin with the Israeli turn we will the sequence of play is fire move and reaction fire and final attacks where a unit which did not move or fire me now fire uh, so with that
and we'll go ahead and commence the Israeli uh, part of the turn. Okay, it's turn one. It's the Israeli player phase. We're going to take these Merkava tanks over here. Units fire one at a time. They cannot combine firepower. And they can only pick one target at a time. <clears throat> the exception, of course, is artillery fire, of which the Israelis do have some artillery. Um, no, you're not going to be able to see this up close, but let's see if I can get it. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to fire these three Merkava tanks one at a time at this stack of Syrian T-72s. I'll just take the top unit to the top unit and then the second unit to the second unit and then the third unit to the third unit. And that should just leave one tank uh, with no fire allocated towards it. Um, the odds are going to be one to one because we have a 10 firepower versus a 7 defense factor. And I'm going to have to find me a 6 sided die here. Oh, let's go with this. And let me find something to roll it in. Aha! So, we have a 1 to 1 attack. Top Israeli unit to the top Syrian unit at 1 to 1. We pull the 4. That is going to be a pin, but the pin does not count. It only uh, applies to troop units. So we'll go to the second uh, Merkava versus the second T-72 in that stack. This will also be a 1 to 1. And it is a 3, and that is a D. So the second T-72 is damaged. Which means we will place a damage marker on it. See if I can find one here quickly enough. There we go. So, this one is damaged. We've already fired at that one. So the third Merkava versus the uh, third Syrian T-72 in the stack. Roll the four at one to one. That is nothing. So, that fire produced basically just one damaged tank. One damaged T-72 uh, platoon. Okay. Since the other two stacks of Israeli units either have no line of sight or are out of normal range, um, normal range is up to the range printed on the counter. At half of that range, your firepower or gun factors are doubled, and at twice that range, they are halved. I'm pretty much not going to worry about um, firing at twice that range, because the chances of hitting are, are very low. So we now move to the Israeli movement phase and reaction fire phase. None of the Israeli units are in a reaction fire position, so they can move, and you can move even if you fired. It's the, uh, let me see here. In the last attacks phase, the player selects those of, you, those of his units which have not yet fired. Okay, so you can fire and move, or move and fire, I guess. Um, the Israeli player has the initiative, which means that he can either go first or he can allow the Syrian player to go first. But in this case, uh, the Israeli player has decided to go first, for obvious reasons, I suppose. So what I'm going to do is, none of the Israeli units are in a firing position. So if the Syrians decide to go with an attack and then a move. No, I did this completely. No, I did it right. 
range and then attack power range and attack power one two three four five six seven okay just making sure i haven't hosed something up completely um we're going to try moving israeli units back up uh on the other side of the hill the ones that fired and they're pretty much done for the rest of the turn these units are going to move up into the town two and i think Leave two units there and one unit there. And these units here. I think I'm going to leave. Well, I'm going to leave them where they're at for the moment. I think I will use the. to, uh, to utilize our artillery, offboard artillery. You have to have a forward observer or a command unit. Israeli unit here is the overall battalion command unit. Uh, for the three companies and it is it has a line of sight hmm, just down to here really uh, along that hex row and I'm not sure uh, do I have a headquarters I think I only have the one headquarters well no out of each platoon uh, out of each platoon we should have a unit with a zero uh, at the end of its ID. Units with a zero are either company or battalion command units. So, but at the first part, not sure when we plot artillery. I think it's at the beginning of the move phase. No, I think it's at the beginning of the turn. So in that case, I can't plot artillery at the moment. Artillery. Artillery fire against the target is called a fire mission. They're requested at the beginning of the turn before either player begins his player turn and they're resolved at the end of the second player's turn. Um, so I missed my opportunity to plot artillery for the Israeli player. So we will just not worry about that. All right, this is kind of a learning game for me anyway. I haven't played it in a while, so I gotta try to rememorize things. Anyway, so now it is the Syrian player's fire phase. His half of the player turn. Or first attacks. Whatever you want to call it. I'm gonna always probably call it fire phase, movement phase, and then final fire, whatever. So let me see what we can do here, and then we shall proceed accordingly. Okay, what I think I'm gonna do is. We're going to drop off, for the moment, this damaged tank. Just leave it at the bottom of the stack. <clears throat> We're going to use this stack. Now, let's see. Front three hexes. I think it goes out to here. That's what I think is the front three hexes. <gasps> house <laughs> got a little cramp in my leg sorry and we have the back three hexes uh, are the rear the rear basically halves your defense factor rounding up uh, let's see well I can't fire out to here so I guess we'll fire at the units into the town the other units are going to move and attempt to swarm the Israeli position or at least get within uh, five hexes or AXs, half their uh, range. Uh, get within four hexes, I guess it is. So we'll go ahead and we'll attack this hex here with these three uh, Syrian units. So what we basically have is a 10 at one, two, three, four, five hexes. Um, Firing into the Israeli units in a town. The town will add three to the defense against direct fire attacks. So basically, nine is 10, 11, 12. So they basically have a 12 defense factor. So 10 to 12 is one to two. We'll take three shots. 
at this hex here, just going from top to bottom. Basically, the first Syrian tank will fire at the top, Israeli unit, the second will fire at the bottom, and then the third will fire back at the top again. So, <clears throat> all of these are one to two attacks. I need a one or a two to have any effect. First attack is a six, so that's nothing. The second attack is a one. We have an elimination, so we destroyed the second Merkava. And let's see here. Is that damage? That's destroyed. So we placed basically a destroyed marker there. I think they're kind of like wrecks in uh, <clears throat> Panzer Blitz. I'll have to double check the rules on them. And then we'll have the final attack back up at the first one again. <laughs> Roll the one again. Well, we have eliminated, and this is pretty brutal. No, that's not the command unit. So that counts as one point against the morale. Let's see here. We have another damage marker destroyed. Here we go, destroyed. Well, the T-72 has definitely shown that it can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Israeli unit at the moment, so that was that stack. What do we have now? We have these units, one, two, three, four, five, six, just within uh, range. I think we're going to have them fire. So that's three of these. That's four of these, actually. Command unit on top. Well, that's a battalion commander. Don't want to lose him, so we're going to go ahead and fire at that uh, Merkava. All four will fire. Two, three, four. We'll just start top to bottom. Where again, we're looking at one to twos. Top unit rolls a four, miss. Second unit rolls a five, miss. Third unit rolls a one and kills it. All right, well, this system is um, fairly bloody. Uh, let's see here, see if I can find another destroyed marker. Uh, I'm going to be running out of destroyed markers if I'm not careful here. Oh, that one somewhere, here it is. So this tank is destroyed. So we have three wrecks right there in the town. <clears throat> The town of E. <clears throat> okay, well, this is turning out to be ugly for the Israeli player. So, we have these two stacks that have fired. I will go ahead and move these, and then we'll pick up after the movement. Okay, I don't think Rex do anything. Um, I don't think they block line of sight, but I can double check. Uh, let's see. Do they block line of sight? I don't think so, but I could be wrong. Um, I can't tell right at the moment. I don't see it. Anyway, I did uh, did do combat uh, targeting wrong. There's a section called Hit on Stacks. Whenever an attack is made against a stack of units, the particular unit which is affected is determined randomly. For example, three tanks are in the same hex and three attacks are made against them. The owning player rolls a die. If a one or two comes up, it means that at least one attack is against the top tank, a three or four means the second attack, or a second tank is attacked, and so on. Since each attack is determined randomly, it is possible that all the attacks called for would be on the same tank. So, um, after it has been determined which units receive attacks, odds for each of those attacks are calculated and the results are determined on this combat results table. Um, in this case, all units were the same. The only difference would have been a damaged unit. Um, could be hit again if I had targeted it. Targeted it, but I didn't. So, even though I did it wrong, the results would have still been the same. So... 
Uh, as we're progressing here, I have moved these Syrian tanks up to here and these Syrian tanks here. They were ones that fire, but they can still move. The others, I'm not quite sure what I want to do with yet. I think we're just going to move on the Israeli positions and see what happens. It's already looking pretty bleak for the Israeli player on turn one even. So, I guess we'll just uh, move up here. One, two, three, four, five, six. That puts us within four hexes of that <clears throat> battalion uh, or company of tanks with a battalion leader in it. Um, we'll go back here and make a mess. Um, let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll just move up in that position there. The last two units, we're going to just try to head off the board. So, one, let's see. What is a road anyway? Half. One, two, three, four, five. I'm just going to count Rex as one extra movement point. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll just move them up here. Probably face them this way in case the Israeli player decides to uh, come up over the hill again and take a pot shot. However, by moving back behind the hill, the Israeli player has limited his ability to return fire <clears throat> on the next turn so I guess that was a bad move on that on my part there oh I'll live and learn the next stack one two three four five three four five six so, I think that's going to be the main uh, Syrian turn at the moment. Units moved. Although, I think it only applies, final fire, last attacks, only applies to units that have not yet fired. So I guess we can fire. Uh, let's see. He can't He This uh, company cannot see anybody here. Uh, the units over here you can see the um, Israeli company up on the hill. Line of sight is blocked here plus the building, so really only these units here can fire on that stack. And let's see if I can do this right this time. So, what have I got here? Three units. Alright, <clears throat> we're going to determine randomly which unit uh, gets hit up here. The Merkava only has a movement rating of 3. Well, that's pathetic. Okay. They move only half the speed of a T-72. Huh. Might have to check that out with some sort of... Uh, have to check the resources on that one. Alright, so... We're going to go top to bottom. Hmm. With a six-sided die... One, two, three to four. Can't do that. So let's just go one, two, three, four. And then we will just ignore fives and sixes. So the first Syrian tank here, it's going to fire one, two, three, four. It's at its normal range. So it has a 10. The Israeli units are up on a hill. They have a defense of nine. Yes, so it's going to be a one to one. First attack is a three at one to one. That is a damage. I didn't dig out enough counters, so I'm going to have to just hold on for now. Did I roll for which unit it was? No, it was the third unit. Let's redo that. Sorry, my bad. So it's the third unit here that's being attacked. 
and I roll a 1 and it dies. Well, it looks like this is going to be a one turn game. Pretty sure I've done everything correctly. Uh, you know, once I catch my mistakes. Alright. Second Syrian tank platoon is going to attack. Now I can do one to two. So one to two, three to four, five to six. It's a three to four. It'll be the second unit here. We're attacking at one to one. Roll a two at one to one. That's a kill. All right, now it's 50 50. Uh, the top one will be one to three. Uh, or four, five, or six for the bottom one. It's a six. And we're firing at one to one again. And it's a two kill. Well, that's going to pretty much be it for this little exercise. With four. Well, plus the uh, morale drops. We're going to have six for leaders and one for units. So we have at least one, two, three, four, five, six, plus two leader units. Maybe three leader units. Well, let's see here. No, that leader unit's still alive. So anyway, we have at least two leaders. That's six and six is twelve, plus one, two, three, four. The Israeli hesitation point is 10, the break point is uh, 15, so I think I'm going to pretty much call it right here because most all of these Syrian units can move up to the top of the board and uh, escape for a victory, so the ambush did not turn out historically, um, did not have the same historic results. Um, it looks like a little bit of a tough go for the Israelis. Perhaps a different setup would have uh, helped. Perhaps putting the Israeli, some of those Israeli units in the firing position might have helped. Um, hurt myself over here really bad by moving these units back behind the hill so they would be safe. But by doing so, they well, they were they forego their first attacks. They could do last attacks, but or final attack, but um, I don't know. They could still probably nail one or two Syrian units, but not enough to win. So, um, this was a very quick exercise in futility, but I'll go ahead and post it anyway. Um, just wanted to show a little bit about Command uh, Test of Arms, which uses a Command... Well, not Command Decision, that's Miniature Rules. Um, just a little bit about uh, the test of arms system. I think I did another video on uh, the test of arms. It's a s easy system to get into, but it doesn't have much detail and um, doesn't have enough, I guess, detail. And I'm not sure what else. Uh, I think I would probably rather play assault to get the same effect even though it's not uh, in the same category really but it is platoon level combat with command control and all that stuff so um, I would recommend assault over test of arms any day um, other than that I think I'll call it a video so I will Talk to you all later. Thanks.